can you turn cheap popsicle sticks into high-end home decor? I think we can. Let's give it a shot. What's up guys? I'm Brianna Thomas and welcome to my home. This is where I get to play decorator and get my DIY on and teach you how to make a home that you love living in. Uh, so today we're going to be creating a wood coaster, beautiful stunning wood coaster, looks like a million bucks, costs about 30 cents to make because we're going to use popsicle sticks and coffee stirs. Seriously. So to start, we're going to take our uh, wooden plank, it's a four and a half by four and a half I believe, and we're going to mark the center with a pencil, our line where we're going to add the chevron detail of the popsicle sticks. Then we're going to take a whole bunch of popsicle sticks like this. And we're just going to chop off a straight line so that we're working with a clean straight edge. And if you do all of these at once, it's going to go a lot faster. And you'll see why it is also a good idea in a second. Rather than have you all watch me struggle with cutting these, it's not difficult. It's just um, just a little bit of repetitive work. But basically, I use a craft knife and I carefully go over, 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 over until I can snap it off. And then what I do is sometimes there's a slight ragged edge. I just take a simple nail file and the coarse side and I just quickly buff it up like that. You only want to go very parallel across the top, otherwise you're going to round out these edges a little too much and they're not going to sit flush against one another. So it's time to apply the wood glue. I like tight bond personally. Um, it's pretty easy to use. It sets up within about five minutes and you're going to want to let this dry probably about 30. Since we're not really stressing this, it's not a huge deal. But keep in mind, you're going to want to work quickly because you can have about five minutes before this really sets up and you're not going to be able to slide things around. So let's get started. You don't want to go overboard with this because you don't want the glue to be squeezing up through the cracks of this. Um, just it's going to yellow and not look super great. Um, so here I am just kind of using a silicone basting brush. You can get this anywhere. I think I got this at the dollar store. Um, just to do a really, really thin coat to this plank. Um, and what's nice about this is this will dry and you can just peel all this right off. So you don't have to wash this up or anything. I've used this eight billion times myself. So that's probably enough. I mean, maybe we'll just add like a tiny bit more at the edges. Um, but like I said, you want to keep this a super, super thin coat. And you can kind of like push it to the edge there. Um, but yeah, it's good to kind of get a little close to the edges because these popsicle sticks or craft sticks rather aren't super, super straight and some of them cup a little. Um, when you're selecting the sticks, you do want to do your best to select the flattest ones, but they're not perfect. So having adhesion as far to the edge as possible is not a terrible idea. So, And I, I may not have mentioned, so you're going to want to, after you dry fit, number these so that you know exactly what order that you had them in. Because you'll think you remember, but you won't really remember. And then, where's my number two? All right. So basically, I just start by creating this little V. And I know I need this V to be meeting right on the center line. And we push these two pieces super flush to one another. So, we will just continue up the chain. I 
I can see that I veered off course a tiny bit here. I'm not gonna worry about it too terribly much. I still have time to readjust, but this is starting to adhere already and I don't really wanna mess with that. So instead I'm just gonna finish up these edges. These can just be cast off, nothing sticks because we're gonna end up trimming all this at the end. So before moving to the next step, we're just going to weight this down with a book and wait just to let everything kind of set up. So while we wait for like about 30 minutes for that glue to set up, let's talk about how to select your craft sticks. So you want to find craft sticks that, I mean, you're going to have a bag of a hundred or more. So, you know, you, you'll have a lot to choose from. You want to choose craft sticks that are fairly straight and don't have cupping. And I don't know how easily I can show this, but this is, I picked this one up. This one has a good deal of cupping on it, um, which means it curves. Do you see this? How it curves down versus lays flat. So if you use a bunch of sticks like this, they're not going to adhere to your plank and they're going to eventually pop off and it's just going to be kind of rough and wobbly and it's just not going to work. So let's avoid these. Look for a bunch of these. And then second tip, we're going to be finishing the edges with coffee stir sticks. Um, you can get a thousand of these for under $10, I want to believe. I think I, these were $6.99. Um, I'll pop the link below. I got them on Amazon and they shipped super fast. Um, so the interesting thing about these is they are, I mean, look at how wobbly that is. These will bend. So it's not a huge deal if they're super wobbly, although we still want to kind of aim for straight. What you really want to make sure you look for are sticks that are like deep enough because they vary quite a bit. So some are gonna be super skinny, some are gonna be super deep. So here you can see this covers the entire edge, whereas this one gaps a bit. So you're gonna to wanna to look for sticks. This was my test one, so that's why it's a little janky. Just ignore that. Um, but basically you're gonna to wanna to look for sticks that are gonna be more like this, and they're gonna cover the entire edge to give it a cleaner look. Okay, so we've let this dry for about 30 minutes, and now what we're gonna do is use a craft knife and trim the edges carefully. You are probably gonna have to go over each one sort of individually, so this is tedious, but not particularly difficult. Okay, so now we've trimmed off the edges with our craft knife, and this actually came out pretty clean. Like I said, I went a little off center with these, but I don't mind that that much because I think the little imperfection's nice and it gives like a nice two third, one third split. Um, so now, as you can see, I've been going through all my different craft sticks, uh, sorry, coffee stirs, and now I'm going to finish off these edges right here just to make them a little cleaner with my coffee sticks. And like I said, I, this one's too skinny, but we're just gonna find the perfect size and finish these off, glue them with wood glue, and then we'll move on to the next step. If you have any edges that are a little ragged, just go back in with your nail file and clean them up. So a good way to do these little craft sticks is you can actually do a dab of glue on one of these or craft sticks and then dip the coffee stirs into it to apply glue very precisely along the edge because that brush over there is going to be uh, just a little bit too big to do this easily. Otherwise, we're going to probably slop a whole bunch of uh, glue around the edges. So as you can see, I have the glue setting up right now for the little finishing edges. Um, I probably should have maybe trimmed them down first, but it doesn't actually matter that much. Um, so once we get all of these set up, I'm just gonna, these are gonna be so easy to clip right off with the craft knife, and then we will finish it however we want. Um, there's a few different ways to finish it, and I'll talk a little bit more about that next. I just wanna break in super quickly to talk about finishing and staining. 
So for this one, I just use watered down paint, but you could use stain if you wanted to. Um, but what I'd really urge you to do is to test out the different colors that you're thinking of doing. Uh, this one's actually green, but you can't see. Anyway, test them out because this is cheap wood. So it might not look the way you want um, or the way you anticipate. If you just want to do a flat paint surface, that's going to work fine. You don't have to really test or anything. But anyway, you can use watered down paint instead of stain if you want. All right, that's it. I think it came out pretty good. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Anyway, if you enjoyed this project, I would love if you would give this video a like. Thanks, and I'll talk to you next week.